Hi, in this video, we're going to have a problem on parametric equations. Uh, we have a question here. Find the value of t where the graph of the parametric equations crosses itself. Okay, so we have to find the values of uh, t for which uh, the graph of the given parametric equations crosses itself. Okay, I'm just going to take uh, two values for t. One is t is equal to one. The other value is t is equal to negative one. Here, uh, you have a question. So how can, I, how can I take these two values, one and negative one for t suddenly? So your question will be answered shortly in this video. So please keep watching, don't skip it. Okay, now I have taken two uh, different values for t, one and negative one. So corresponding to these two values of t, I'm going to get uh, the Cartesian coordinates, I mean x coordinate and y coordinate. Okay, corresponding to the first value one, uh, I'm going to get the x coordinate and y coordinate. For that, I have to plug in t is equal to one into the given parametric equations. So when I plug in t is equal to one, I'll be getting x is equal to one cube, negative one, positive three, which is equal to one, negative one, positive three. Finally, we get three. And y is equal to, I'm going to plug in the same value for t, one of uh, 40, the uh, second parametric equation, that is y is equal to three square, negative three, then one square, negative three, which is one, negative three. Finally, we get negative two. When t is equal to one, I get the x coordinate three and y coordinate negative two. So the Cartesian coordinates corresponding to t is equal to one is three comma negative two. Okay, now I'm going to take the second value of t, that is t is equal to negative one. Corresponding to this value, I'm going to find the Cartesian coordinates. So I'm going to plug in t is equal to negative one uh, into the given parametric equations. So I'm getting x is equal to negative one to the third power, negative of negative one past to three. So the simplification of this one is just negative one. Uh, negative one, negative times negative will become positive one, positive three, I get three. Now uh, to get the y coordinate, I have to plug in t is equal to negative one into the second parametric equation. It is negative one, the whole square, negative three, which is one negative three is equal to negative two. So corresponding to t is equal to negative one, uh, the Cartesian coordinates, I mean x coordinate and y coordinate are three comma negative two. See, when I take t is equal to one, uh, I got Cartesian coordinates three comma negative two. And uh, when I take uh, t is equal to negative one, I got uh, uh, three comma negative two. I get the same point for t is equal to one and t is equal to negative one. So for these two different values of t, I'm getting the same point, uh, three comma negative two, three comma negative two. So that is uh, like uh, when t is equal to one and t is equal to negative one, the graph is passing through the same point. That means the graph crosses itself. So these are the two values of t for which the graph of the given parametric equations crosses itself. So t is equal to one and t is equal to negative one is the answer for this question. Okay, so here, uh, actually I took the values for t as soon as I started the problem, but the target is how to find these two values of t, one and negative one. Okay, now only we are going to start solving this problem. Okay, I'm going to take two values for t, a and b. So I'm going to take two different values. A and b are uh, two different values for t. That is a is not equal to b. I assume for these two different values of t, uh, the graph of the given parametric equations crosses itself. That means when I plug in t is equal to a and t is equal to b, the Cartesian coordinates I'm getting, I mean the points, the two points I'm getting in terms of x and y must be seen. Okay, so first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in t is equal to a into the given parametric equations. So t is equal to a. Then the point, uh, I mean the exponent, uh, to get the exponent when t is equal to a, I just have to plug in t is equal to a into the first uh, uh, parametric equations. And I am getting a cube negative a positive three. Okay, when I plug in t is equal to a into the second parametric equation, I'm getting a square negative three. So these are the Cartesian coordinates I'm getting corresponding to t is equal to a. Now I'm going to plug in t is equal to b into the given parametric equations. When I do it, so the x coordinate, uh, I'm getting b cube negative b positive three. And when I plug in t is equal to b into the second equation, I'm getting b square negative three. So my assumption is for these two different values of t, the graph of the given parametric equation crosses itself. That means uh, when t is equal to a and t is equal to b, the graph of the given parametric equations is passing through the same point. So this point and this point must be same. So we can equate them to each other. So now the two points are equal, this point and this point, because our assumption is for these two different values of t, 
the graph crosses itself. That means the graph is passing through the same Cartesian coordinates. Okay, whenever uh, two points are equal, we can equate the x coordinates and y coordinates. So the x coordinate in this point, uh, the x coordinate in the point on the left side is going to be a cube negative a positive three. The x coordinate on the right side is going to be b cube negative b positive three. And the y coordinate on the left side is going to be a square negative three. And the y coordinate on the right side is b square negative three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I assume this is a first equation and this is second equation. I have to solve for one of the equations for a in terms of b or a, uh, I mean for b in terms of a. So I prefer the second equation because in the first equation I have exponent 3, it may be a little challenging uh, to solve for one of the unknowns a or b. So but in the second equation you just have square. So I think I will be able to solve for a in terms of b or b in terms of a uh, in the second equation. So what I'm going to do is, uh, anyways, I, I'm trying to solve for A in terms of uh, B in the second equation. Let's do that. So A square negative three is equal to B square negative three. I've taken the second equation. So I'm adding three to both sides. The negative three positive three, negative three positive three will cancel. A square is equal to B square. Okay, to get rid of the square, I'm taking square root on both sides. Okay, in an equation when I'm taking square root, okay, here square root and square root cancel out. In an equation when I'm taking square root on both sides, one of the sides I have to take positive or negative. On the left side, I just have A. On the right side, if I take square root for B square, I'll be getting B. So for B, I'm taking positive or negative. On one of the sides, I have to take positive or negative. I'm taking the right side. So from this one, we get either A is equal to B or A is equal to negative B. This is not true because our assumption is we have two different values, A and B are the two different values of T, that is A and B are not equal. So, but this one, in this one we have A and B are equal. So it's not true, we cannot accept this. So we can take A is equal to negative B. Okay, now what we need to do is we have to plug in A is equal to negative B into the first equation and solve for B. Okay, I'm going to plug in uh, A is equal to negative B into the first equation. So here we have the first equation. So A has to be replaced by negative B. So negative B cube negative b the whole cube, negative of negative b positive 3 is equal to b cube negative b positive 3. So negative b whole cube results, whole cube results, negative b cube, negative times negative will become positive b positive 3 is equal to b cube negative b positive 3. Okay, so to make the right side 0, I subtract b cube from both sides and also I add b to both sides and I subtract 3 from both sides. So positive b cube, negative b cube will cancel out. Negative b, positive b, positive 3, negative 3 will cancel out. And negative b cube, negative b cube will become negative 2 b cube, uh, positive 2 b, and positive 3, negative 3 will become, uh, will cancel out, and we get 0 on the right side. So what can be factored from these two terms is negative 2 b. If I factor negative 2 b out, I'll be getting b square negative 1 equals to 0. Okay, now the product of this one and this one is equal to 0. Either negative 2b is equal to 0 or b square negative 1 is equal to 0. I get b is equal to 0. I just add 1 to both sides and I get b square is equal to 1. Okay, now in the next step, I'm taking square root on both sides in this one. I'm getting square root of b square is equal to square root of 1. The square root and square root cancelled. I just get b on the right side. I'm taking positive or negative. So square root of 1 is just 1. I'm getting two values for uh, B, I'm sorry, three values. Already I got uh, zero as a value for B and here I got two more values. So B is equal to zero, one, negative one. So I get three values for B. Okay, so already we know the value for A, that is uh, already we got the value of A in terms of B, that is A is equal to negative B. Okay, when B is equal to zero, we get A is equal to zero. And when b is equal to 1, I get a is equal to negative 1. Because when I plug in b is equal to 1, I get a is equal to negative 1. And uh, when b is equal to negative 1, I get a is equal to negative of negative 1 will be positive 1. So I get uh, 3 values for a and 3 values for b. Okay, let's continue on the next page. Okay, here we have a list of values for a and b uh, which we have found so far. And please remember that a and b are not equal. Okay, so I'm taking a values for a and b. If I take a is equal to 0, b can be 1. Or a is 0, b is equal to negative 1. Because a and b must have different values. Okay, if I take a is equal to 0, I have two options. b is equal to 1 or b is equal to negative 1. In this way, I'm getting two pairs of uh, values for t. 
Okay, now I'm going to take A is equal to negative one. Then B can take zero or B can take one. Okay, if I take A is equal to one, then B can take zero or B can take negative one. So we have six different pairs of values for A and B. Okay, in the first pair, we have zero and one. The same pair zero and one is repeated over here. So we can ignore this one. And the second pair is zero comma negative one. The same pair is repeated over here. So we can ignore this. And the third pair is negative one comma one. The same is repeated. We can ignore this. So we have three uh, different pairs for uh, the values of t. So t is equal to zero comma one, or t is equal to zero comma negative one, or t is equal to negative one comma one. Okay. So in all the three cases, uh, we have different values for t. Okay. Now what we need is we have to check each pair with the given Cartesian. I mean with the given parametric equations. Okay, now I'm going to check the first pair that is uh, t is equal to 0, 1. So what I need to do is first I have to plug in t is equal to 0 into the given uh, parametric equations that is t is equal to 0. Then I'll be getting x is equal to 0 square negative 0 positive 3 and uh, y is equal to 0 square negative 3. Let's simplify. So, uh, so 0 square negative 0 positive 3 will result 3 and this is equal to negative 3. So I'm getting three comma negative three. So the Cartesian coordinates corresponding to t is equal to zero or three comma negative three. Now I have to plug in t is equal to one. So x is equal to one to the third power negative one positive three. Just one negative one positive three, which results three. And uh, y is equal to one square negative three. I get one negative three is equal to negative two. So the Cartesian coordinates corresponding to t is equal to one or three comma negative two. So do I get the same Cartesian coordinates for t is equal to zero and t is equal to one? No. So here, when t is equal to zero, I'm getting three comma negative three, the point. And when t is equal to one, I'm getting the point three comma negative two. So when t is equal to zero and t is equal to one, uh, the graph of the given parametric equations uh, does not cross itself. That means it, uh, they are, uh, the graph is not passing through the same point for these two different values of t. Okay, now let me check with the second pair, that is t is equal to zero comma negative one. Okay, first let me take t is equal to zero. So now I have to plug in t is equal to zero into the given parametric equations. I'm getting zero cube minus zero plus three. Already we got this one, three. And uh, when I plug in t is equal to zero into the second parametric equation, zero square negative three is equal to negative three. So the Cartesian coordinates are three comma negative three corresponding to t is equal to zero. Now I have to plug in t is equal to negative one. So I get, a, uh, you have to plug in t is equal to negative one into the given parametric equations. So negative one to the third power, negative of negative one, positive three. So this results negative one. Negative times negative will become positive one, positive three, which results three. Okay, so now let's uh, plug in t is equal to negative one into the uh, second parametric equation, that is y is equal to t is equal to negative three, then negative one whole square negative three. So negative one all square will result just one negative three, which is equal to negative two, three comma negative two. So for these two different values, t is equal to zero and t is equal to negative one, we don't get the same Cartesian coordinates. That means the graph of the given parametric equations does not cross itself. Okay, now we have to check the uh, third pair. Okay, let me check the third pair, that is t is equal to negative one and one. First, I plug in t is equal to negative one into the parametric equations. I get negative one to the third power, negative of negative one, positive three, which is negative one, uh, negative times negative become positive one, positive three, which results three. And when I plug in uh, the same t is equal to negative one in the second parametric equation, that is y is equal to t square minus three, I'll be getting negative one the whole square, negative three, that is one negative three, and I'm getting two, negative two, so the Cartesian coordinates corresponding to t is equal to negative one or three comma negative two. Okay, now uh, let's plug in t is equal to one, the second value of t uh, into the given parametric equations. So when I plug in t is equal to one, I get x is equal to one to the third power, negative one, positive three, which is one, negative one, positive three. Finally, I get three. So when I plug in t is equal to one into the second equation, one square negative three, one negative three is equal to negative two. So the Cartesian coordinates are three comma negative two. When t is equal to negative one and t is equal to one, 
uh, I'm getting the same Cartesian coordinates, 3 comma negative 2, 3 comma negative 2. So when t is equal to negative 1 and 1, for these two different values of t, uh, the graph is passing through the same point. That means the graph of the given parametric equations crosses itself when t is equal to negative 1 and t is equal to 1. So the answer for this question is t is equal to negative 1 and 1. I think uh, this video helps you to understand how to solve this kind of problems in AP Calculus BC. Thank you.